Hi, I'm Leela Kumar. I work as a security services consultant in CA Technologies. My specialization is around CA control minder. Nowadays, we very often hear the term impersonation. Let's first understand what impersonation is really about. In an organization, different systems and applications coexist. And as is, we have different teams handling all these different systems and applications. As a common business requirement, it is necessary that the users would have to have cross-domain, cross-application or cross-system rights. In simpler terms, a web, a web server administrator would want to have an admin access over a database machine to do his daily job. Now, this specific functionality is categorized as impersonation in terms of host access control. Now, this makes the web server, server administrator to complete his daily activity, but it also gives him the entire super admin access over a database system, which could result in possible vulnerabilities. This is not a desired outcome of this requirement. When we look at the technical implementation of impersonation controls, we have both native access control mechanisms available and CA control minder also offers a facility to control the impersonation. For Unix systems, preferably we use surrogate and pseudo classes for controlling the impersonation access. However, as you would have realized, implementing pseudo or surrogate is both error prone and a risky approach. When we use sudo or surrogate, it is essential that uh, the end user should be shared a root user's password to do his or her job. Thereby, even when we are trying to actually control the access to an end user, we end up sharing a root user's password to the end user. The other workaround option that is natively available is to prevent prompting for a root user password when a user tries to do a sudo or surrogate access, but that again is a vulnerable option. Therefore, CA control minder offers a capability of fine-grained impersonation access given to an end user along with an audit mechanism. Here, using CA control minder's endpoint agent infrastructure, it provides wrappers around the traditional sudo and surrogate classes and with these wrappers it makes sure that the proper control is given to the end user. Using sesudo and sudo classes we explicitly define that this user has this type of access over this type of resource and he is limited to only be able to do that particular action that is defined in the CLang policy. Nothing more and nothing less. Now that you have understood how CA Control Minder can control the surrogate access or user ID substitution, let's look at a practical example. In this video, we will create a Control Minder policy to allow database administrators and web server administrators to impersonate root. In turn, this will allow them to start and stop relevant services. Log in to the endpoint as an administrator. Let's double click the body file to open it. We need to specify the host name and then select the SSH radio button. Since we need to log into the system, let's click the open button. Log into the root system as Apache user 01. Try to start the Apache web server. We get a permission denied instruction. Let's impersonate the root user. You will be prompted to enter root's password. We now know that Apache user 01 can impersonate root. Let's close the potty file and create the relevant Selang policy that will allow database and web server administrators to impersonate root without knowing root's password. To create a Selang policy, we have to log into the enterprise management. To continue, Click the Policy Management tab. Now click the Policy link. In the left pane, click the Policy again. Since we need to create a policy, click the Create Policy link. Now click the OK button.
We have specified the name and the description of the policy in the General tab. To define the policy, click the Policy Script tab. We will now write the slang script ensuring that only the relevant group can impersonate the root. In the first line of the script, we have modified the root resource to ensure that nobody can impersonate root unless explicitly specified. In the second line of the script, we are authorizing an enterprise group called DB users to get all the access to do a surrogate to root. In the third line of the script, we are authorizing an enterprise group called Apache users to get all the access to do a surrogate to root. In the undeploy script, we have added the commands to remove the surrogate settings associated with the two groups. Let's now click the submit button to submit the policy. And then click the OK button. To assign the policy to the endpoint, click the assignment link. Now click the Assign Policy link. Select the policy you want to deploy and click the Next button. Now assign the policy to the relevant endpoint and click the Next button. And then the Finish button. Log in to the root system as Apache User 01. Try to impersonate the root user. Note that you need to specify Apache user 01's password instead of giving the root password. Now stop the Apache web server. And then, start the Apache web server. We now know that Apache user 01 can impersonate the root. Let's close the putty and then finally close the command prompt. Launch putty again. Log in as DB user 01. Let's start the Oracle database service. An error message instruction is shown saying that you need to be a root user to run the configure script. Now try to impersonate the root user. DB user 01 can impersonate the root. Now stop the Oracle database service. And then, start the Oracle database service. Let's check whether CA Control Minder is tracking you as a root user or DB user by using the SE Who Am I command. You can see that CA Control Minder is tracking you as a DB user 01. We are sure you now understand how we can secure the impersonation process by using CA Control Minder.